Uh, thank you, uh, Dean Desker, very, very much for the most kind introduction and even more so for the most kind invitation to be the Neon Kungsei Visiting Professor uh, of International Relations at, at the Ranjaratnam School um, this year. Um, it's a great honor for me to uh, be invited in such a distinguished capacity because I know the number of the predecessors, including Shumit, my colleague Shumit Ganguly, who uh, was in residence last year, and Zhang Yong Ling and others. So you have, indeed, I uh, follow some very good company. And I'd like to thank the uh, Nian Kungsi for endowing this professorship and its partnership with the Ranjaratnam School. Um, I'm very impressed, in fact, with the growth of the of RSIS over a relatively short period of time, just uh, 12 years, I think, since uh, IDS, its predecessor, uh, Institute for Defense and Security Studies, uh, was established by President Nathan, if I'm not mistaken, and Dean Desker and other colleagues from the Ranjaratnam School deserve a lot of credit for building the school into a leading institution, not here, not just here in Singapore, but indeed in the Asia-Pacific region, um, where it has now been ranked in the top tier of Asian think tanks, and increasingly internationally as a school of international studies. Um, so in a very short period of time, just, a, just over a decade, um, not only has the foundation been laid, uh, but the structure is, is going up rather quickly, growing very rapidly like everything else in, in Singapore. Um, and now entering your second decade, indeed, you've got um, still more work to do but, and challenges. That's always the case, but you really are off to a great beginning. And um, I'm really honored to be invited and spend some time uh, at the school and here in Singapore this, this past two weeks. So let me um, turn to the subject at hand of the day. Um, I was a little bit concerned, Dean Desker, had you spoken much longer, you would have stolen all of my, all of what I wanted to say in my own lecture, which maybe shows that great, great minds think alike, but indeed my assessment of the region and some of the principal variables that are operating in international relations uh, in Asia today are not, uh, you've, you've already touched on. So maybe let me see if I can try and develop a little more fully uh, some of these these ideas. Indeed, I agree with you that the international relations in Asia are changing um, rather significantly. And I'm going to argue this is a very fluid region. Um, uh, indeed, the whole world uh, is undergoing rather significant change, not the least of which is the Middle East. Um, but uh, Asia is 